Hello, my dudes. Don't mind my appearance, I just walked. <laughs> my car was towed, I walked to go get it and paid $1,500, it's a whole thing. I'll put the clip in here, actually. So, Saturday night, my car got towed, and it was not supposed to get towed. I was not parked somewhere that I shouldn't be. Having to walk backwards because I didn't realize I was gonna have to be walking uphill and I have a fractured ankle and I don't know, this just hurts less. Um, so my car got towed, right? They were closed yesterday, oh my god. Bird fight happening. So anyway, I'm walking to go pay $1,500 to get my car back. That was not supposed to be towed. Okay, don't get it twisted though. I fucking love walking and you can't do that in LA. And where I'm staying right now, gorgeous, amazing, fabulous, never been done before. Just kidding, everyone walks, so I love it. In fact, it didn't cost so much to have my car kept in a tow lot or wherever the fuck I'm walking. I might just be like, you know what, keep it. I'll walk for a few more days because I kind of love it. But I do have to go look at a house today, so I should probably get my vehicle. Like, for real, thank you to my friends who offered to drive me or to Uber me to get my car. I'm like, no, you guys, you don't understand. I've been living in an unwalkable... Is this where my car should be? Is it illegal to go just take it? Probably. Now, in este momento, I'm not sure what you've seen. I have not uploaded to my channel as of now for a long time. I want to post my apartment tour, obviously, before this. But, just to catch up to speed, I'm currently at an Airbnb. I've moved out of my apartment. I've been staying here for... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. How has it already been that many days? I got here Wednesday night, it's currently Monday. Wow. And then Thursday morning I check out and I'm gonna go somewhere else, which I don't know yet where I'll be going. By the time you see this, I'll be gone. Doesn't really matter, but I'm in Newport, which I love. I rented a house on the beach. I had the craziest weekend with a fashion show and then going out after and it's a lot, it's a every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way or the highway. And in the driveway is a nice range Cause I've gone through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Suddenly, two of my boyfriends showed up to the bungalow in Newport, or in Huntington And I was already with two new boys that I like And then, while there, I found a man that I now I think I like more than all of them I don't know Yeah. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. I said I came out and I knew him. I was all really motherfucker? He's all motherfucker. He's all you guys are good. <laughs> Just be careful. Oh anyways, you got that was all on video. <laughs> you guys look gangster as fuck. Wow. <laughs> Anywho, let's do a little Airbnb tour. Figured I'll document where I've been staying. I don't know if this will just be one video. I don't really know. Life is very chaotic. I'm talking kind of quietly because the owner of this has the unit above me and I can always hear their freaking baby crying. So maybe... So maybe they can hear me too. I don't know. Also, I'm not supposed to have pets and um... I'm pretty sure I have a pet. Okay, let's do the tour. Normally when I stay to Airbnb, I wouldn't like move in, but my car was full of stuff that I need for like short term, I don't know, the next month maybe. Hopefully I'll find a place sooner. I don't know where I wanna live yet, so that's kind of the whole thing. But since I was gonna be here for like eight days, I did unpack and I needed to, otherwise it would have been very chaotic. So with that, this is where I entered. Right out there behind that building is the ocean. We have our little friend. Okay, if you walk in. Cute little living room. Definitely haven't used that. There's no AC here, which is like a large problem for me because I sweat when I sleep. Couch, I'm sure you recognize that blanket. It's mine. I also haven't used any of the TVs in here and there's like four of them. We have our kitchen, which I have not sat down here and eaten at this table, but I did bring a candle to make it feel homey my fave candle at the moment and i needed this 
for protection. I think that door goes outside, but I haven't used it yet. Focus. Cute little setup. Then we have the kitchen, which I actually really, really love. The fridge is full of my stuff. The freezer is full of my stuff. Pantry is full of my stuff. I have even all of these, all of these spices and all of that shit. That's mine. All of that, that's mine. I have to film a I actually should get that done so I don't forget. I have to film a TikTok sponsorship with this um, literally two days ago, so I need to do that now. I brought my own like disposable plates and bowls and shit just in case. Giant bag of candy. We have bugs, food and stuff in there. I haven't even used, I haven't used any of that. I brought my own matcha, obviously, because this is my favorite kind. Really, I've only been here like in the evenings and well, not even evenings, like nighttime. So this is kind of the first day that I've been here like in the daylight. So there's that. Okay, down the hall we go. So we have two bedrooms. We also have a bathroom. Hello. Very small bathroom, but totally gets the job done. Shower. That's all like my hair stuff. We'll start over here. Hi, full length mirror. This is the second bedroom and I've also been using it to, well, I've only gotten ready two times since I've stayed here. Once for the fashion show and what was the other time? Don't remember. I've been using that as a desk and also to do my makeup. This bed in particular, Bug really likes. So she likes to nap. If the pillows are down, she likes to lay on that one pink pillow. And this blanket is my blanket, so she likes to lay there. That's cute. Got her water in here, and I no longer keep a food bowl because something happened the second, third day that I was here where I was like, where the fuck are all of these ants coming from, and why are they here? There were like two kernels, <laughs> kernels, there were like two pieces of dry food left in her bowl, and it attracted millions of ants. And it took me hours to get rid of them, and there are still some, but they're like in the very entry area, so... I think they're okay for now, but holy shit, that was, and I was already like having a meltdown, that was not fun. Anyway, now put her food bowl out when it's time to eat and take it away when it's not. <laughs> her litter box is also in here. We're gonna just censor it because there is poop on it. That tripod's been there, but I have not even used it yet. Got some extra towels, got like hair, makeup. Oh yeah, I put, I put the makeup that I brought in these drawers. It's just fucking easier. I've only literally used it one time. Hello. And then I have also put some shit in here. I take that if I go to the beach. Um, hair tools. I was gonna say, I don't know why I didn't go to storage, but I kept some Tide Pods and like toothbrushes, just like in case, because literally everything is in storage. Over here, we have my backpack, which is full of cable and tech things. That is my trunk full of extensions, which you can't see, but they're in there. <laughs> She's very curious. Microphones, I don't really know. And my other camera, this is all cords and external hard drives and shit. What are you looking, what are you sniffing? More cords. So, not much in there. It's my little beach bag. Then, it's my other beach bag. That's all the laundry that I have accumulated thus far. This is the bedroom that I've been sleeping in. It does have, I don't know why only one mic's on. Probably close that for a second. Okay, here's the bed. Um, it does have a fan and then like a little fan over there, but like when I tell you, I, it's like so hard for me to sleep because I need the AC on like as low as it'll go. I've been having the craziest dreams since I've been here. I've been sweaty. I swear that was like the one thing that I made sure of is that they had AC, but I guess not. Oh well. Um, I think only two more nights here. Three more nights here. Shoes. I just wore those in the fashion show and I wore. Oh, I wore the white boots out the other night. Where's my white sneakers? They might be in my car. In here, I only hung up like what I had hangers for, which the hangers were here. So like tops and shirts and um, jackets and stuff. And then I have a suitcase there that has like some stuff in it. And then here's where I really just fucking moved in also here. Also, I'm not using like any of this. Like I swear, I realized that I can pretty much just get by with like a moisturizer and I'm good, so. But I did, I did bring some options just in case. We got shirts, sleep shirts. I think there's like jean shorts in here. 
We have leggings, spandex, shorts. Oh, we have jeans. I brought lots of like little spandex shorts. I don't fucking know why. Tank tops, bikinis, underwear, socks, hoodies. I have a lot of white fox stuff because they sent me stuff like right before I moved. So I just kind of grabbed it and ran with it. <laughs> She's so curious about this tour. It's like you haven't been living here for however many days. Speaking of white fox, hey. Oh, the outside area. I swear to God, the corners of this place are so fucking loud. And I'm like, can they hear me? I'm not here that often, but like. Then I have this cute little outdoor area, which I'm sad to say that I have not utilized. However, I have utilized the fuck out of the beach like walking down from even like Newport to Huntington I did like the second night I was here I walked today to like a mile to the towing place I love it so much I love being by the ocean I can't I have this little outdoor area loving the succulents I leave it open because Bug likes to look out. And then my laundry basket that has now become all of those fucking swag and sponsorship stuff from the fashion show. TV in here also. I think, is that all? Oh, I guess this room doesn't have a TV. Um, I think that's all. Yeah, so I don't know what this video is going to be. If it's going to be like a little mini tour of like however many... Air it's actually technically this isn't an airbnb it was a verbo i did find this place on airbnb though and it was like a hundred dollars more so i did it over here but not that it matters because it was three thousand dollars per week yeah the next place i stay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be doing that mm -mm. i just i was like you know what the move has been so stressful moving into storage i was like i'm gonna splurge a little bit and have a place like right on the beach like an actual nice place not just like a little shack that like is creepy but this first week and like i yes i have work and stuff and like i've had to go do things but i'm hoping like well, tomorrow I'm looking at a couple of places. I just want to make use of literally being on the beach and just meditating. And a couple of times I've gone, in, like, in the afternoon. Pretty cold, though, I will say. I just, like, read and done some writing. And it's just, like, the most healing place for me, period. So, like, I, I wasn't even, like, upset. I mean, yeah, it sucks that it was $1,500 to get my car towed. But I was just kind of like, you know what? This walk is beautiful. <laughs> she is doing okay she's definitely confused definitely like one of the main reasons that i want to actually find somewhere i thought like oh i'll go and travel for a while and i still will do that i think but i do want to have a home base and if that means i just get like a one bedroom apartment that's not like super luxe that's fine with me because i i want her to have like her space and her routine and not be you know i, f I feel bad and that's my little my little newport beach house tour out to me afterwards i've never once reached out to anyone because how the fuck would i know who he's dating second of all we already were friends and she came up to me at an event that i was hosting and like told me like oh my god i just dated this guy for like over many months and he's fucking insane and blah 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 blah, blah. that's the only thing however i would make sure that i obviously like never saw him not really sure how he's living there because it's expensive like i just genuinely am I'm, I'm not sure how that's possible there Whew. dude the effort that it just took me to what are you why are you trying to get back in there should pack up everything in that airbnb and get it in my car 
like that's just the back seat you don't even want to see my trunk also oh now all of a sudden you want to get in your backpack <coughs> yeah yeah the rash on my eyes is back and you can tell because not only are they red discolored but they look small because they're like swollen anyway um it's 10 30 my check i was at 10 i woke up at 8 thinking that would be enough time to pack everything up to be fair i was ready at like 10 04 but this bitch was hiding under one of the beds and took me forever to get her so i'm technically not supposed to check into my next airbnb until four but i asked them if they could let me know as soon as it was ready because <laughs> you know i had the cat i did empty out her litter box so we don't have that ow your claws are scratching me girl but right now i'm going to a coffee shop it's apparently really good coffee ow she just sliced my leg right open my body my legs and my stomach look so tan which is crazy because i was not in the sun at all because it was super cloudy and not beach weather this week but also i was so fucking busy what's happening back there so i'm going to this coffee shop i think i'm gonna get coffee and then find her leash which is in here somewhere put it on her put her to the backpack i'm wearing shorts i'm wearing these white fox boxers which for some reason on everyone else look like an outfit like it looks Maybe it's because of the state of my face and hair, but um, on me, it literally looks like I'm like a 13 year old boy wearing boxers. But I have a hoodie. I'm gonna put the leash on her. She's never been to the beach. Maybe go sit on the beach with her, have a little moment. She like, doesn't know where to go because normally she's like roaming around. No, but it's here, not roaming around. I mean, I, she, to be fair, she has two blankets up here. I have a nice little setup, but she likes to do everything besides lay slash sit where she's supposed to. There's so many cute little surfy coffee shops in Newport and I didn't go to any of them. I really wanted to just like chill this week, but it just was not gonna happen. Like I needed, to, I, I, I need to find a place. And I, I think, technically I think I did yesterday. There's gonna be absolutely nowhere to park over here. Violators will be towed. Well, I've already been towed once in the last few days, so let's maybe not do that. Let's find out the baby likes the beach. She's never been to the beach, which is really fucking weird, but let's see. Miko, puppies, you at the beach? <laughs> I can tell you're happy, but you're a little freaked out. Ready? I put her leash on her, which she hates. Oh, my coffee! No. You can walk. Are you so confused? Because you've literally never been to the beach. Ma'am, you can get out. You have a whole world to explore. Let's go. Good girl. Oh, just kidding. You can do it. You can do it. Good girl. <laughs> Good job. Anytime I put her leash on her, she like forgets that she has limbs. She like ceases to be able to walk. <laughs> no, that's my jacket. Ma'am. Hey. Baby steps. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Use your limbs. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right here. I know. I know. I know. It's okay.
mine. We have made it back to our safe space. She is purring, although it's freaking loud, so I don't know if you can hear. But I'm so proud of you. You did so good on your first beach day. You did so good, Bubby. You're gonna love it. Oh, are you gonna come out again? Oh my goodness, I'm so proud. You're kidding me, she's just venturing off by herself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she just keeps screaming. Yeah. Oh, that's a good spot. Look at that happy tail wag. Where's your happy tail wag? You are chilling. Look at you already becoming a beach cat. Look toward the ocean. You're looking at the boring stuff. She's like, I'm looking at the houses where I belong. Yeah. I forget how to use legs when I'm on leash. Poopy. You see the birds? Where's that annoying bird? 